Let's go ahead and take a look at the sub-programs or the methods that uh, are being called from the menu. Here is the new customer method. No code is added, but notice I added a line comment. And after the line comment are capitalized to do. This indicates to Visual Studio that you need to add this to the task list. When, this is optional, this is just an FYI, you don't have to do this, but this is a pretty neat tool. When you're creating modules and you're getting more and more code, sometimes you say, oh, I got to come back to this later. Okay, so it's just like writing a little note to yourself. I got to come back to this. So this to do, I got to come back and add logic to the new customer method. Or down here, I got to add logic to the new order. So you just come and you're going to type to do. Okay, so you're going to just type that and to do and then a little, a little note to yourself. Got to add update customer logic. So what does this do later? As your program's getting more uh, larger and larger, you can go to View and come to Other Windows, and down here you'll see Task List. And notice in my task list, everything I've written in the To Do, I have available right here. So then I can double click right here, and it takes me to that line of code where I can now update that. When I'm all done, of course, remove that comment. You don't want to keep that in, it's like cr striking through uh, a note uh, that you do a written note. So I'm all done, so you will take that comment out. Okay, let's take a look at what this looks like so far. It's just uh, in a beginning phase, so I'm going to go ahead and run this, and you'll see that there's my menu, and if I push 99, okay, which is not on the menu, uh, the menu comes up, okay? If I push up 3, well, nothing happens. If I push 2, I've written some code in 2, so it's enter new order, and I still got a, it's on my to-do list, and I wrote press enter to continue, and then when I press enter to continue, up comes the menu again. So let's, t let's take a look, and I'll hit 5, 5 exits my program, which is what we said it would do. So let's take a look at what happens when you when you enter 3. So when you enter 3, it's going to call the update customer method. Okay? So down in update customer, what I've done here is so far, I should have said 2. When you enter 2, it calls the new order method. So notice what I do is I clear the screen and then enter new order. That was that first line of output. Oh, I thought, you know, I want a blank line here. And then press enter to continue. And when you do press enter to continue, it holds that screen there um, because I've got a read line here. So it's going to hold that screen. And as soon as enter is hit, then we're done with this method. And it comes back up to the next statement. So it was 2 instead of 3, right? Well, what's the next statement after calling new order? It's a break. And a break will take you out of the switch. And what's the next statement after the switch is over? Clears the council and displays the menu again. So that summarizes what you're going to do for your program. And I'm going to go ahead and post the logic you got here. And so a lot of the logic you see here, you're going to uh, use in the program I'm going to ask you to write.